Alright guys, welcome to another game pickup video. So in this one I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games that I picked up last week, last Thursday, it's about a week ago. And so let's get right into it, shall we? So the first game I got at the thrift shop is Mahjong Quest 3. Uh, so yeah, you know what Mahjong is. It's I, I won't talk about it uh, for for long. I mean, you know what it is. I like casual games like these. Just like before going to bed, you know, I like to play something relaxing. You know, so no big deal. I paid two bucks for it, so I mean that that's quite the deal. Uh, but yeah, I know it's not a lot of people that that are into that kind of game, but I am, and uh, yeah, so that's why I picked it up at the thrift shop. Another game I got at the thrift shop is Seven Wonders Magical Mystery Tour. Uh, so this is a match tree game, so you have to match jams, and you score points, and the the panel collapse. The panels collapse, and you know you get a lot of points for that, and and stuff like that. So it's a bit like mahjong, you know. It's uh, like a relaxing, casual game that I will play before going to bed or something like that. It's not a game that you'll spend hours playing just because, you know, it it's kind of a flash game, but that you buy. So I, I paid two bucks for it, so it was a good deal at the thrift shop again. I had other Seven Wonders game. I have one on the PS2. I have one on uh, I have one on the computer as well, and this is another one in the series that I did not have, and I was kind of glad I found it for so cheap. Because sometimes these games they go for like 10 bucks and something like that. But since I don't play them for long, I don't want to spend a lot of money on those. So that's why 2 bucks, I mean, I was like, let's, let's go for it. So now, for some other stuff. This one I got at the thrift shop as well. This is Unreal Tournament 2004. And I don't know if you can see that, but it, it's the Editor's Choice Edition. I already had uh, Unreal Tournament 2004. I already had this game. I played quite a lot of it with my cousin when I was young. And uh, back then it was on CDs. This one is on DVD as you can see here. And it, the box had five CDs in it so that you could install and run the game and that was a lot you know that that wasn't fun at all you had to insert this one then insert this two three four five and you know that, that I didn't like it because the game was so massive for the time that they had to put it on five different CDs this game fits on one DVD but the case contains two because there's some bonus material on it like uh, you have, of course, you have the, the complete game, which I didn't really need since I already have it. But now it's on a DVD, so it's better since I will be able to install it like in one go without without uh, switching CDs. So what you have in this one is six new onslaught maps, three new onslaught vehicles, the Cicada, the SPMA long range artillery vehicle, and the Paladin. You have six new characters including the Undead Necris and you have 11 additional modes created by Unreal players. And I think it was good and the, the second DVD it's a bonus so you have uh, it says hours of video tutorials and so you know on vehicle design, uh, character development and such. So that's why I got it basically because of the bonus material. I, I like the fact that I now have Unreal Tournament 2004 on one disc only, and that it contains a few more a few more material than the original game. 
uh, and it was one dollar so I was like I, I'll go for it I mean I don't even care so as you can see there's the code there to for the kind of activation there's a manual and color and everything very good condition and as you can see there's the play disc and the bonus disc as well and for one dollar I didn't even think about it I, I went for it I played this game a lot with my cousin when I was young and back then I didn't have an internet connection I was with my parents and you know they weren't too they, they didn't really like computers and stuff so I, I didn't have an internet connection but I had a PC and so I played offline so much of Unreal Tournament 2004 I mean a lot of capture the flag I really like this mode and yeah I might jump into that game real soon so that was Unreal Tournament 2004 now I went to the game store and got uh, well two well three games but anyway you'll you'll see so this one is Splinter Cell Chaos Theory on the Xbox I think I have this game somewhere somehow I, I told myself you don't need to buy this one because you have it at home at some place but then I was like what if I I I don't have it and as you can see at the top it was two dollars only and so I was like I could check at home and see if I have it and if I don't well I'll buy it next week but a splinter cell game at two dollars and it's complete with the manual and everything I was like I might as well buy it and if I have two copies of it well so be it I mean for two dollars it, it doesn't matter I mean if it would have been like 10 15 it, it kind of matters but two dollars I might as well have a second copy of it because it's a good game I like Splinter Cell games sometimes when I I, I want to to have a good uh, stealth action game my favorite is Splinter Cell the first one I have it on the computer and I played hours of this game and I think I have every Splinter Cell game in the collection. I have Double Agent, I have Panera Tomorrow, I have Conviction. I think I have them all. And yeah, so I decided to grab this one. I think I already have it, as I said, somewhere in my collection. I didn't even take the time to look this week because I didn't have time to. But I feel like you know I had to get it cuz what if I don't have it and this was my only opportunity to get it at a decent price so. then another game I bought for five dollars it's Kung Fu Chaos so to be honest I don't really know about that game the reason I picked this up is because it's only on Xbox and I like to collect exclusive games uh, whether it's on the Xbox, the GameCube, the PS2 especially I like to collect exclusives and so I saw that it was an exclusive game and I was like I have to pick this up I don't know if it's good maybe if you guys know you can write in the commentaries uh, I would be I will I would read the commentaries uh, and maybe know more about the game because I don't know what it's all about so it says it's it's a kung fu game and you you know you have to to fight of course and there are different arenas and you know different hazards and such so I mean I'm going to play this just to see what it looks like there's a manual in there you know a bit folded but it doesn't really matter and there's the game disc of course it's on the Xbox it's an exclusive game and this is the reason why I picked this up because sometimes you know I don't necessarily pick games that I know sometimes I pick games that I don't even know about and I just discover games and sometimes I got you know you're surprised in a positive way sometimes in a negative way but sometimes in a positive way and as you can see it was five dollars so I mean if I don't like the game it's five dollars you know it's not the end of the world like it's a hundred dollars or something so I was like I'm gonna pick this up since it's an exclusive game and as I, as I already told you, uh, the 
the guys that work at this place uh, are my friends you know I know the guys that work there and so and so yeah uh, I like to go there because they keep retro stuff you know they even have Super Nintendo games and such uh, and they bought a PSP from a guy. The bot is 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 PlayStation Portable, and they bought a, a couple of games from the guy. And he had Modern Storm Arctic Edge, and they sold it for five bucks. But I did not get it because I already had it on the PS2, and you know I was like no. But then they they said we got this case, and we did not. Uh, well the store uh, didn't want to buy it because uh, it wasn't in the system or something like that and they told me hey Frank do you have a do you have a case for your PSP I said no and they were like would you have to get one for free I was like well of course free stuff why not and they gave it to me but the good thing what that already you know just getting the case is awesome I mean they gave it to me for free and that's a good case you know it's plastic and there's even the, the things under so that your PSP doesn't slip you know and everything but look what was into it and by the way they told me that it wasn't there I didn't steal anything just so you know but there's this UMD and as you can see it reads I don't know if you can see it maybe my Cameras a problem focusing, but it says Dexmar Hospital for the criminally insane. And you're like, what the, f what the hell is this? Well, it's Manhunt 2. Of course, I don't have the case that goes with it, but it's Manhunt 2, and I didn't have this game in my collection. I have Manhunt 1, one on the PS2, yeah. But I didn't have Manhunt 2 and so now I have it and I got it for free. And by the way, as I said, they knew that this game was inside. They knew it. But they didn't buy it because uh, the guy just left the store. He was like, I don't want this case anymore. And the guy just left the game in there and, and everything because he, he didn't care. He didn't have a PSP no more. And, you know. So I got... I basically got... Manhunt 2 for free with a case so that was a deal of the day if you ask me so yeah so I'm glad I got this and of course I'll play Manhunt 2 these this game is crazy it even got suspended in some countries before it's because it's gruesome of its gruesome violence sorry for the sentence it was butchered in every which way so yeah there there's the case now three more games guys so I went to GameStop. GameStop. I got this a game. Sadly, it doesn't come with the case. It's a generic case here. I got it for five bucks. It's Metroid Prime Hunter on the DS. Uh, I'm glad I got it. As you can see, it's still sealed because I didn't have the time to open it. But I, I know that the cartridge is inside. I'm going to play this game. I like Metroid. Metroid games and I found it on the DS for five dollars I was like of course I'm going to get this and when I when I uh, when I came to pay at the counter the lady that was there was like wow we got this game and I was like yeah and I jumped on it because Metroid games at five dollars you don't see them often right so yeah I got this one and I also got the Sly Collection. Uh, the the price here it says twenty dollars, but the, there was a discount and I got it for fifteen. I know I don't pay fifteen dollars for a game uh, really often. I know that it's not my, you know, it's not me. But there are three games in this. You know, you have Sly Cooper and the T. Well, I can't read and the. Tevious Raccoons, you have Sly 2 Band of Thieves and Sly 3 uh, Honor Among Thieves. So it's three games, so it, it's five dollars each game. You know, so it, you know it's alright. And I like to collect trophies on the PS3 and achievements on the 360. And 
I think that it was a uh, you know a good way to get easy trophies and to revisit this collection since I uh, I think I have slide three at home and slide two I think I I don't think I had slide one no I think I only had slide three in fact so I didn't have slide one and two and so I think it was a good deal for fifteen dollars and as you can see it's still sealed well not factory sealed but the game stuff sealed because I didn't have time to play last weekend I worked all weekend and this week it has been sunny so I go uh, I go bike riding uh, you know I, I'm not sitting all day on my couch and play playing video games you know I like to do to 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 go biking as well so yeah so that's sly and finally I think that's the, well, I said that the case was the biggest deal. Well, I think it was since it was free. But I got something that, you know, I can't believe that it was in the thrift store. I, I still can't believe it. But, you know, I didn't even think about buying it. I was like, it's going in my collection. And I don't know if I, I'll be able to fit this in. But it's Diablo. And I just do that. Is the big box version of Diablo now did I have this game of course I had Diablo I mean everybody that collects video game has Diablo in his collection but the thing is it's the big box version and as you can see there is a flat I'll have to, to take the camera so that you can see look at that beautiful artwork really glad I got this and I saw that on eBay it goes for like forty dollars or so and I'm not even talking about the shipping because this this costs a lot of sh to ship because it's a big box and look at that the back as well I'm going to show you because I was glad I got this it's Diablo and of course I had it but I had the small box version not the big box and I know that those big bucks are are collected a lot amongst gamers and inside there's of course the jewel case with the game disc that's the jewel case and well you know, you know when we talk about booklets well this is not a booklet I call that look, look at that I call that a book I mean it's not in color it's in black and white as you can see sorry guys it's in black and white but does it really matter I mean just to have this manual you know it, it has like seven eighty pages nowadays you don't see that not only sorry for the voice crack wow okay <laughs> not only you don't get manual but n nowadays you get nothing you basically get my 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 roommate bought Crash and Sync Trilogy and what you get is a game disc and a case that's it you don't even have a manual manual anymore but now with with this I mean look at that it that's the reason why people go for those those big box editions because they you get stuff in the box actually you get actual stuff not digital stuff and nowadays I, I know you have to care about the environment you get you have to to recycle and so I get it and I think it's important but when I pay like seventy dollars for a game which never happens by the way but if I would pay seventy dollars for a game I want to have stuff in the box not just a disc and well your manual is on the disc or go to this website to have your manual I don't care I want to have it in my hands and I think that's why recent games are not really appealing to me because I don't feel like they have they have value you know it's just a box a disc that's about it I like to have my games complete in box most of the times and with current games it doesn't really matter because there's only a game disc it's a case and a game disc so I was glad I got it and for one dollar I mean it was even for five maybe ten dollars I would have gotten it still but one dollar I was like I was already you know at the counter ready to pay because wow I got Diablo in the big box for 
one daughter only and I think that's a shame that today uh, nowadays I mean you have a lot of digital content you know I get it as I said that you have to be environment friendly and everything but at some point I, there should be a stop to it you know if I pay seventy dollars for a game I want to have a manual I want to have a case I want to have hard work I want to have the game disc I want you know a lot of stuff seventy bucks and I'm not even exaggerating nowadays it's eighty bucks a game so there you go so that's the video that's the nine game I told you nine eh? one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah so those are the games I got last week it cost me about well because of Sly it cost me slightly much but you know sometimes you have to maybe it cost me like something like forty dollars forty forty five but this week as you'll see if I make another video there won't be a lot of stuff in it since forty five dollars to me is quite a lot of money and I spent it essentially because of Sly collection because I wanted it so bad and it it was only 15 bucks I was like I might as well get it but I don't think so like 15 I think it cost me something like 30 yeah 30 35 it's not that bad and some games are in in the mail I'll probably do a mail day uh, maybe this weekend or early on uh, next week because I have some games in the mail that cost me like three four bucks some good deals so yeah that was about it guys for this week I hope you have liked this video if you liked it please like the video and subscribe to my channel as more videos will come I have a, a video that I, I wanted to make for a long time and I did not have the time to but I might find the time next week uh, this winter I went to a GameStop and they had a shit ton of DS games and there was a promotion and the promotion was you buy two games and you get one free and as you'll see in the video I I abused the promotion if you will as you'll see I got a shitload of DS games that I want to show you uh, but that's going to be in another video so I hope you have liked it and I see you in another video. Thanks for watching.